Go ahead. Hi there, I'm Jody C. and I'm visiting with my friend Jim Lloyd today because we have something special to share with you and that is the fact that we wrote a book together. It's actually Jim's story. So here we are in the offices of Lloyd and Lloyd in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. As you can see, this entire office is set up to be like a courtroom. There's the In God We Trust, and we do, and there's a, the uh, Oklahoma State flag, the United States flag, and over here, all the way around, is the seal of the great state of Oklahoma. So Jim, here comes the camera again. Any minute, here she comes back, that girl. Anyway, this book that we have together now is called Almost a Murder. And tell me how, briefly, tell me how it came about. Tell them how it came about. Actually, it started out when uh, some friends of mine asked me to uh, take a child custody case for a woman from Thailand. And from there, it actually spiraled completely out of control. And it did. For, I mean, you wound up taking the case, and it just gobbled up your whole life for 13 months, something like that? Well, longer than that. We had, we had like six appeals to the Oklahoma Supreme Court, uh -huh. and we had um, multiple hearings, and we had three jury trials on the first degree murder case. Mm -hmm. We had hearings in the probate case. We had hearings in the um, wrongful death case. We had hearings for bond before the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals, um, and we had hearings in front of the Oklahoma Supreme Court, so it was really all time consuming. It just gobbled up all my time. Went on forever and ever. It seemed like it. We got our, uh, one opinion was published. Unfortunately, Jody, it was the one I lost. The only case I lost. Isn't that the way it always is? <laughs> and that's the one that's now being published in all of the schools, law schools in America. Mm -hmm. And how often does that happen? Well, it's my first time. Yeah. Well, the thing that fascinated me about the story, because when Jim gave it to me in a manuscript form, and he had written all this out many years ago, and I read it all, and I said, this is a good story, but it's not yet a good book. I can turn it into a good book. And as, as I said, as a matter of fact, I can turn it into a great book. And I have done that. Um, with your help and knowledge and learn more about law than I ever thought I would know or would care to know. There's just so much more to it than we ever think, you know? Um, so the question for me is, I don't know how you kept your family together. I don't know why your wife didn't leave you. Um, I, you know, I don't know how you just managed to keep it above water except that you were 33 years younger than you are now. Well, that's an interesting question, Jody, because at the time I was a baby, a, a puppy lawyer. Yeah. And a puppy lawyer, you know, knows virtually nothing. I'd only tried one civil case and lost it. And now I'm telling my wife, um, uh, honey, um, we're having to take our entire life savings and pour <laughs> into this one case, this <laughs> criminal defense case. But trust me. <laughs> yeah, I believe I can win it. And... It was a case that everybody told her and all her friends or CPA friends said, there's no way you can win. It's totally impossible. You, you, you've got a beating of death, a shooting of death, a strangling of death, a hiding of the bat, a hiding of the gun, a dumping of the body in a, in a neighboring county, right. and a confession by, a supposed confession by uh, right. accomplices after the fact. And they said, you know, your husband is spending all your money. He, you know, he, he's taking you to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. So you're right. It was a tremendous strain. I have to admit on my marriage. Yeah. It turns out my client was the same size as my wife. So she wore all my wife's CPA clothes into the courtroom for all the, all three trials. Thank goodness for that. Yes, except there was a little glitch in the giddy up because uh, her friends at the jailhouse happened to like those clothes so well, she gave them all away. So <laughs> my wife had to get a new wardrobe. So Jim and I, over the next several months, are going to be doing more and more of these. Um, just to give you a little taste and a, a kind of a teaser pre-production, pre-publication um, information about this book. It's called Almost a Murder um, because it wasn't quite a murder, but it was almost a murder. And uh, it's going to be published on Cohopono Press. It's uh, my publishers, and they're wonderful people in uh, Oregon. So 
be on the lookout for more of these and for uh, almost a murder coming soon to your neighborhood. So arm yourself. Okay, thanks. I'm Jody. This is Jim. We're signing off for now.